Welcome back to moreforlife.com. Once again, I'm Michael Moore. Part one of our session with Lynn was all about skin, and now in part two, we're going to continue her application. Moving on to her eyes. We'll start with her eyebrows and move on to eyeshadow and eyeliner. Now let's continue with Lynn. Lynn is actually a person who suffers from thyroid. And so if you notice on, on her eyebrow that she has lost about a quarter of her brow through here. But one thing I always say to a woman over the age of 50, be careful on how long your brow is because we do not want to give it too much length to give a, a downturn to the eye. So we're taking a brow gel instead of a brow pencil or a brow powder and we're going to be filling and lifting and unfortunately, as we get older, we often tend to get um, some eyebrows that kind of go rogue and they get kind of long and hard. And so this will actually help hold it on as well as give a little coverage and color intensity to the brow without looking like a heavy, hard brow. So after filling the eyebrows in, we're also looking at Lynn's eye here. Close your eye for a second. She's a very deep set eye, meaning that the brow bone lays very close to the eyelash line. So when you open, there's not a huge lid there for her to play with. So in this way, what we're going to do is open up her eye a little bit more by using a canvas or a primer on the eye to start off with. Just use your finger to apply this, close your eyes. And that instantly brightens up the eye and brings the eye out a little bit more. So keep your eyes closed and just turn your head this way. You can see the difference from one eye to the other. Now open your eye. You can see how much open, more open that eye looks now. And when you're looking for the primer for your eyelid, make sure it's about the same color as the skin or one shade brighter than the skin. Not going to something that's gonna darken the eye unless you're looking for if you need that depth to the eye. So we're gonna take a very flesh tone this is actually just a little bit brighter than what her skin is. There's a light, light, light shimmer in this. You would never notice it to the naked eye. We're just taking a nice big brush and that will instantly bring this eye out. This would be a great look for her to go to business meetings, to social events, to church, anything she wants to do with this look. So now on a daily basis for Lynn, we're just gonna go with the one eye shadow and then we're gonna to go to eyeliner as well. I'm choosing a gel eyeliner that is actually really long wearing because she does tend to have very dry eyes. And when you have um, drier eyes, your eyes tend to weep a lot. So what this is going to do is just stay put all day long. What you're gonna do with this is you're gonna be using a very fine tip brush and this is gonna be able to apply to get that right up into your eyelash line. So lift up your head for me and then look down. I'm gonna take this and put it into the root of those eyelashes. Going with a cobalt blue, but the cobalt blue is so dark with black in it that it cannot really tell if it's a true blue or a, t or a true uh, navy. So instantly bright, beautiful eyes that way. You can really just see how that opens the eye, brightens the eye and gives a restful look to the eye. Into that eyelash line. Just even think of like a little stippling motion to get that placed exactly where it needs to go. Never get the color onto your waterline always make sure it's right into the root of the eyelashes where your mascara would be going to. The waterline is the fleshy part of the line underneath your eyelash line, as well as look all the way up. It is actually the line right through there that basically where all the water pools to. That's why they call it the waterline. And we're gonna keep it really simple with just some nice mascara. I do wanna go to a uh, black mascara on Lynn as well, just to give some lift to the eye. As we age and things tend to fall, <laughs> tend to give yourself more mascara on the outer quarter of the eye, giving more of a lift to the eye. I'm applying my, using my finger right here into the eyelash line, putting the mascara into the root, do a little wiggle at the root, pull it all the way through. Using your finger here, 
will actually give you a nice little basis so it doesn't get on your eye lid. But don't ever fret if you do get some mascara on your eyelid. It's very easy to remove. Just don't use it with a naked finger. So I got some on Lynn right through there. Just take a non-latex sponge and it will instantly and quickly remove that. So we got a nice, bright, everyday, fresh, rested look. And this way it makes her look like she has slept very well. That's all for part two of Lynn. To see your transformation continue, check out Lynn part three right here on moreforlife.com. Thanks for watching.